Hello friends, I am Tanmay from PurposeThemes.com and today I will be reviewing a theme named May. It is a theme from Theme Foundry Club and it is free. Here I will explain it in brief like the settings, options and the dashboard side of it. But for detailed review, I will suggest you guys must visit PurposeThemes.com. There we have given PT score. In that, there are many screenshots. Uh, using which you can compare this theme with other similar themes. Okay, um, back to the make theme. Why to use make theme? As I said before, it is a free theme and at no cost you are getting so many options. Um, then second one is uh, using this make theme. You can build a portfolio website or business website as well as e-commerce website. Uh, it's a responsive theme with uh, fluid layout and then the most shouted feature of it is page builder um, using which you can just drag and drop the columns gallery and banner whatever they have given there and uh, that means you don't need uh, have to write a single line of code it is very easy for anyone after activating a theme you get these many options um, in customize they have given lot many options but some of the customizing options are with make plus like type kit and white label then i will show the general options um, you can set here the site identity then logo labels um, in social profiles uh, you just have to enter the complete URL of any service which you want to see on your site they have given these many options for this um, then next is email you just need to give the email address here and it will appear on your front side and RSS feed um, here you can provide the RSS feed to your site just give the URL and uh, and through this option, you can hide the default RSS feed link. And last one is white label. Uh, as I said before, it comes with Make Plus. You have to purchase Make Plus for the white label. Mm, then in this panel, the remaining things are um, fonts, colors, background images, layouts. In fonts, they have provided Google fonts also. You can customize each part of, of your website from here. Uh, then we will just go back and see other options. In widgets, they have given left sidebar, right sidebar, then footer 1 to footer 4. To activate the widget area, you have to go to the layout panel of customizer. Uh, the footer 1 to footer 4 will appear like the footer columns on your main page. Now, the main feature of this is it is having inbuilt page builder. Suppose I want to create a new page. Okay. Add new. Say Ajax. Okay. Now I want to show the columns, banner, and gallery. Uh, on my side uh, like we can add the columns for landing pages and for highlighting main features we can add banner uh, like carousel or slider mm, just add columns add banner add gallery we can just drag and drop the gallery here to reorder reorder them um, and suppose we want just normal editor, tiny MC editor, then I can go to default template and I get this tiny MC editor. Okay, now again, builder template. Okay. So I can set the columns, gallery, and banner as they have given the setting options for each. 
you can add images to them um, through your library this is all about the main theme i have given the brief information of its setting here for detailed review and for comparison just visit purposethemes.com along with this theme there are thousands of wordpress themes available on purpose themes if you are planning to purchase a theme then don't forget to compare it with other similar themes okay who knows you may find a better one so for comparison and more analysis stay connected with purpose themes thanks for watching this video Thank you.